Previously, on Home Away From Home, a big decision is made on behalf of the boys. The thing I'm mostly looking forward to Nudgy is um, probably making new friends. It's just another step in their lives where they'll have to look after themselves. Really trying something new, opening a new chapter in my life, seeing what it's like, meeting new people. Where's the other bag, Dad? Ready to go, Jack. Hey? Are you ready to go? Is that yeah. your thumb? Yeah. It is. I'll get it later. We travelled down to Nudgee to drop the boys in just after Australia Day. Uh, there were obviously a lot of emotions on the way down there that day in the car. You're good, Dad? No, oh, just get me on the road. Oh, there's some people in there. Everyone was a bit scared about what was going to happen. The school did a great job with their um, orientation day of getting them all started, told them what to expect. Dean's, Dean's stuff is Joe's, and then so we'll just go and get Joe's. That's so good. See, Mum, I do have a tower. Well, the first day is something you try to prepare yourself for months in advance. When you do the enrolment to Nudgee, it's something that you try to prepare yourself for, but you just can't. I've got some soap. This will last me like the whole year. I reckon this is my old room. Aren't you one above? Could have been one above, but I reckon this is it. Toddy's first day at Nudgee College, eh? It's a bit wild, Toddy. For Dad and Nudgee old boy Clay, it is a very personal trip down memory lane. Oh, it made me feel quite proud, and actually one of the rooms that Todd went into was my old room, but it made everyone feel pretty comfortable going back to Nudgee, you know what it's going to be like, and you know what they're going to be in for. That corner's still a bit crinkled, though. Dad might be an old hand at Nudgee boarding, but there are some lessons that are best coming from Mum. Clay and Todd's first lesson on how to put doona on. Is that the bottom of it? Yeah, Toddy, I got it. No, 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 you're wrong. Oh, it's not the bottom. There's blue bits of the bottom. It is a gentle but steady transition into a new home. Confronting, but comforting, with new faces and places. But for older brother Dean, it is an all too familiar feeling. It was a big school, didn't know anyone, so that was a bit weird, just rocking up at Brisbane, didn't know anyone anywhere near there. Didn't know where, like how to get to places, get lost at school, because it's such a big school. It took me about a week to settle, settle in and know where to go for my classes. A warm welcome to those people who are very, very new to the college and kind of a welcome back to some who have either been with us in the past as perhaps old boys or, or current parents who are now bringing their sons into board. They um, won't know anyone, they're living so far away from home, like parents, they're not used to that. But it should be pretty easy for them because everyone just invites you straight in, your mates, good people, just say good day, how are you going, sort of thing. There is a boy in this room well, there's a boy that's going to come into that dorm tomorrow who's going to become your best mate. Perhaps a mate for the rest of your life. The boys view this place as not just school, but rather it's their home. And they feel a sense of ownership for that. With words of wisdom from Principal Fulliger and Head of Boarding Christian Onetto, day one winds down with boarding parents and siblings relaxing with each other. That's classrooms, is it, or is that dorms? No, nah, it's a dorm. Yeah. Well, where's Dino? He's gone up, the, he's up there somewhere, is he? Yeah, oh, Dino runs his own show around here. Yeah. Just dad, just get out of my road. What's in there? Yes, that's where my doona went. That's my doona from last year. So is your doona in here? Yeah. Yay, I Can knew you were that now. Tens <laughs> and elevens on the bottom, twelves up the top. What about that door? Eleven on the bottom, twelves up the top. Oh. <laughs> The final act of the day is symbolic as it is emotional, with a liturgy in the school chapel that will propel the boys into a new life at Nudgee. For you as boarders, young men, you, you'll be here every Sunday night to share Mass together. And I think it's a really appropriate place to mark the beginning of the journey of becoming a Nudgee man. Christians use the candle, the light, to remind ourselves that we are never alone and that we are always loved and cared for. Each new boy in a moment will come forward and receive a candle. Please then take that back to your place and give it to a member of your family. I ask that member of family then to take that candle home with you tonight. Light it from time to time and know that your son is safe and cared for here as he is still loved and missed at home. The chapel, the farewell chapel service is so heart-wrenching when they give you that candle. And to think that you're taking a candle compared to 
a child home just doesn't compare. May you grow in his love and the friendship of each other. Bless us. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. No one denies that this will now be a difficult time, but we start our exciting new journey by saying goodbye. So gentlemen, from here, we will exit the chapel. We will say goodbye to mum and dad, and exciting opportunities and new adventures will be unfolding for you. You didn't cry like that when I left. Oh, I did so you did. I'm not. <laughs> saying goodbye is the hardest thing you'll ever do. It was certainly a sad moment when we all walked out the door. It's hard for the children, it's hard for us. You come with a full car, you leave with an empty one. Dean reckons we didn't cry when we dropped him off. Just didn't. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. My car's going to be empty. I'm shaking your hand. See, Dad. Right, let's go, girls. These are not unhappy tears, but simply the love of a close family. that will be shared by a school, which is now a home away from home. We're just hoping that they're going to settle in and they're going to make some friends quickly and that the school certainly have good programs in helping with all that. You just hope that they're okay, that they'll, they'll get over it really quickly. So the first day is pretty hard. Next time, in our final instalment of Home Away From Home, the Kennys are formally welcomed into Ross House. Well, when I started, I didn't know anyone, so I was a bit nervous, but I found the easiest way was just getting in and have a go. And we catch up with Joe and Todd, who are well and truly nudgy men. Yeah, it's gonna be heaps of fun. Apparently, it gives you a really bad wedgie. Yeah, it blows you out a fair bit and makes you forget about everything else, I guess. That's next time on the Home Away From Home. Mm -hmm.